there's three things I believe that deal with this game the best way. And that is to have a motion that's going to be done in one spot that's one motion. Much like you're going to throw a ball, I'm going to swing this club in that type of motion from this spot. Then I know that there's a spot where I can be relative to the ball with me and the club where I can hit this ball with the nicest amount of smash and energy that I can put on it and let's call that that would be about there for me and all that means now is that it's pointed somewhere so instead of the thousands of variables that we could bring into it if we see ourselves in the club as one thing when we walk in and we know what's coming as a motion because we're not going in there trying to do eight things then I have my best chance to aim it I think I liked what you were saying yesterday, which was, which was a little bit different to uh, May when we got together, which was that, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's better for some people to, to sort of get in there on a um, roughly in the place where they're aimed in that position. And then, you know, by looking to kind of shuffle into a more accurate place and make those yeah. final adjustments. That's right. Um, I quite like that. that that's good, because we don't want to be too careful. So like I said, we don't, have, we don't want to be so careful Remember what I was saying about Ben Hogan? I think he understood that he couldn't aim it right into the jar of the hole every single time. But he knew he could aim it into an area well enough so that he could just go ahead and make that motion and smash the ball into that area. And I think that's how he managed his game so well, was the, he knew he could aim it into a tight enough cone, say around a flag that was on the left-hand side of the green, he might aim 10 feet right knowing that he can make a 10-foot error to the left and nearly hole it. You can yeah. make a 10-foot error the other side and have a 20-foot putt. Yeah. Okay. So it's just knowing that the difficulty, the real difficulty in this game is not so much the swing, because if, if I give anybody a stick, uh, forget about a golf club, just a random stick, and I said, swing that thing around you, balance it, they wouldn't find that too difficult. And in fact, I know most people don't, they think my practice swing's great. Why can't I put that on a ball? Because you don't stand where it can work. Or you stand where it can work, but not to where it's gonna go where you want it to. You're gonna get involved. You're gonna get involved. Right. That's why people can't use their practice swings. Yeah.